oil pan really simple and easy process how I did it you are going to need a mark 5 r32 oil pump they're pretty expensive the cheapest I could find them online was $400 through SNP I'll put their link in the description below if you guys can find them for cheaper than that please put it in the comments where you got it from so others can learn don't keep them secrets you know um, pretty simple you're gonna need a welder you're gonna need the oil pump and that's about it a little bit of skills and some time it's pretty fun and I think you guys are gonna like how I did it so let's get started it's just so we're all on the same page here. This is just a regular two by four and it gets stuck. Before I get too far ahead of myself, I just want to check the angle of this motor and where I'm at. It looks like it's about 13 degrees forward. So meaning the front of the pan is 13 degrees drop down. Second, second try here. Let's get it on a really good surface. No, we're sitting at 10, 10 degrees. 10 degrees, I didn't realize there was a little drop right here in the, in the edge of the pan. So 10 degrees on the mounting surface. Uh, so. So this will come into effect a little bit later. How we looking? We're in it, man. Check that out. So this is the Mark V R pump. And as you can see, the distance from this pipe to the bottom of this, it's a bit different. So I think we're gonna be saving an inch and a half or so. But that does make a big difference. I mean, that's gonna save us another two by four, basically. Um, so maybe two two by four is deep. Uh, you can see that the bottom of this is dented in. Uh, if you can notice the bottoms, these should both look the same. This one's nice and smooth, this one is dented pretty bad so that's a bummer um, but not bad enough to where it cracked i've actually um i've cracked this housing off before and that was a really huge bummer so we got two bolts uh to pull this part off and then two bolts to pull this tube off and we can pull that down but before we do that i want to measure where this is so i drilled a hole in the bottom of the pan right underneath the oil pump and I mean, it's about <clears throat> one millimeter away. I'm told you need a nickel di distance between the pump and the pan. So that's about it. Let's pull this girl off. pump in see what she looks like Check that out, it's actually moved positions. This is actually slid to the to the right a bit. The pickup is like right here instead of originally where it was. So we're gonna have to drill another hole. All right, you guys, we've got 19 millimeters. You guys are probably wondering why there's two holes drilled. Well, that's because I'm an idiot and I measured backwards. So, yeah, we're not saving inches here. I thought we were going to be a whole inch, maybe an inch and a half, which is a bummer because spent $400 on an oil pump. You thought, you know, maybe, I don't know. But it's all good. Um, yeah, 19 millimeters away. So we got to make this 20 millimeters away to get, well, we got to make it, we got to subtract actually 18 millimeters to make it one millimeter away from this part here. One nickel difference in distance. So... 
here we go. So we're just about ready to start cutting. You're probably wondering why I got this Tupperware container here. Let me show you the method to my madness. As you guys remember earlier, the engine block was tilted in the back 10 degrees. So that is a 10 degree tilt, perfect 10 degree. What I'm gonna do is fill this up to right about the bottom edge of this oil pan. I'm gonna fill it with water first, right? So I'll fill it about to here. I'm gonna measure it so it's pretty accurate amount of water, just so it's just along the, the bottom edge of the pan. Fill it up with water. Then I'm gonna spray paint the top of the water. And then I'll quickly, before the, paint, the spray paint dries, I'll quickly dip the pan back into the water with the spray paint that's on top of the water. Let it sit for a few seconds and then pull it back out gently. And then that will give me a nice crisp spray paint line, even at 10 degrees for me to cut on to start this project. I've never done this before, but I think it's gonna work and I'm excited to try it out. So let's get started. Put a pretty good amount in here. That's pretty all right. Now we said the back of the pan needs to be up like this. So well, this is a good angle for you guys. Let me see here. I really want you guys to be able to see what's going on. This is cool. So we made a mistake, didn't have enough water in there. I think I forgot to push record. Or I'm sorry, we had too much water in there. So we subtracted about half an inch because it just felt like it was, I'll have to show you after. But. So this is a good use of old spray paint. Well, it's really, uh, I like how this comes out. Let's try it. Both side and the back, 10 degrees. And here we go. Lovely. So before, oh, a little dangleberry. Before it was too far down. So if I cut here, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have anything to subtract from the pan. So if I cut here, that gives me a decent amount actually to, that might be this, I might've just gotten lucky and did both maths at the same time. So this might be about 18 millimeters we're gonna see. <laughs> Probably not. I'm not, I don't think I'm that lucky, but um, would be cool. So I'm gonna cut first at the pink line and then we're gonna subtract 18, cause we are 19 millimeters away. So we have to subtract 18 millimeters so that we'll be one millimeter away from the, uh, the pump face. We're pretty cool with green. Um, it measures about 17 millimeters. So I'm going to cut it on the, on the outside of it. And that'll give me about eight to 18 millimeters that we need. Uh, so we're kind of winging it a little bit, but I mean, trial and error. So here we go. It couldn't be any better. I mean, it is one millimeter away. It looks perfect. I can't believe how good that paint worked out.
All right, you guys. Decent difference, huh? All right, gasket on, of course. Every time you got to measure with the gasket on. <laughs> Guys, that looks really good. A little better with the light on it for you guys, but that looks really good. We're a hair more than a nickel, but we also have to tighten it down. So I think I'm really happy with that. There we go. Yeah, that looks that looks perfect. Looks really, really good. So not bad, you guys. Where are we at with the uh I mean the frame rails right here? Right, we're like pretty close, you know, not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Guys, you're gonna wanna check for leaks. You can see I got one right here. It's coming right out of this pinhole. So I'm just gonna go over that and uh, just clog all the little pinholes and we should be good. Don't forget to add that oil. All right guys, let's see if it was worth all the hassle. And I guess you guys can decide for yourselves. This was the two by four trick we tried before and we couldn't fit underneath the car now. We've got a pretty good amount of distance, but um, as you can see, I got the big gobble weld there, so I, I, we're not really gonna count that. I guess this would be our lowest point right about in here, right there. Let's see where, let's see where this gives us. And that gets us two and a quarter inches off the ground, I would say. Um, and before we, couldn't get the two by four underneath there. And two by four, we'll call it an inch and a half. Let's say that we gained about an one inch. Let me know if you guys think it's worth it. Uh, money wise and time wise, is it worth the $400 and you know a, a half a day or a day's worth of welding and fabricating to make your car one inch higher off the ground? In my opinion, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. I think it's cool that I did it myself, but uh, was it worth it all? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you guys next time.